This has been a scary situation for people who have loved ones at that nursing home. Scary indeed, Emily. What a difference 24 hours makes. This time last night, families of these residents were told there was nothing to worry about, that there are only two cases and those people had quarantined themselves. But since then, they've evacuated 24 residents and they have sent in the National Guard. Welcome to the front line in Tennessee's fight against the coronavirus. There was ambulances, police, everybody. Late Friday night, an armada of ambulances evacuated two dozen nursing home residents that either tested positive for COVID-19 or were showing symptoms. All the while, many family members were literally left in the dark. This was pure chaos. It was immediately overwhelming. You know, you couldn't find out anything. You didn't know where your loved one was at. Now health officials aren't taking any more chances. Our camera was rolling as Tennessee National Guard members traded camo for hazmat gear to help the Sumner County Health Department test both residents and staff members for COVID-19. And I don't know to what degree she understands all of this because it, it, I mean, it's a circus. Initially, Jamie Vinson was told her mother wouldn't be tested because she didn't have any symptoms. Because my mom sat with the, the first diagnosed patient. They literally sat outside her room every day. She's relieved that has now changed. Still, Jamie and her husband are frustrated by a breakdown in communication. Had to get kind of stern because at first I was just told nurses are making rounds. I can't talk to you right now. No, somebody's going to talk to me. <laughs> Ralph Wagner wishes there was more he could do for his father. I thought about bringing them home, but I can't do that with everything going on now. Just two examples of families on the outside looking in as their loved ones are caught in the midst of a battle with no end in sight. There's still people getting out, but people need to start watching. Now the Sumner County Health Department has decided they will be testing every single person that has been inside this facility. That includes workers and residents. And if any staff members happen to be off today, there's actually another location where they're being tested. My colleague Sina Sleem has more on that in just a minute. But for now, live in Gallatin, Chris Davis.